All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. And here's what we got going on. I left North Carolina last night, crashed in the truck in a Walmart parking lot for a few hours, and now arrived here in Virginia on the Potomac River, getting the kayak ready. And I'm gonna be heading out with Jesse right there. And he uh, is the owner of Top Fishing Deals. If um, you haven't heard me mention that in like some of my other videos, basically they're a site that helps you find the best deals on the internet across all types of like fishing, tackling gear. So pretty cool. He's gonna take me on his spot today and uh, it's gonna be kind of cool to uh, wash off some of the salt on uh, all of our gear because we've been doing a lot of saltwater fishing. So um, I'm intrigued and really excited to get back on the Potomac, which I haven't fished in a quite some time, probably a year and then before that, like five years. And for those of you that don't know, the Potomac is an amazing fishery, so many different types the species to catch so i'm pumped uh let's uh, get the kayak in the water and get out there see if we can find some fish today all right well we are underway keeping a little over six feet apart social distancing you know <laughs> um jesse so what do you uh think whoa what was that, what? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> almost almost caught a fish and <laughs> we didn't even start fishing yet <laughs> um but um what's like our ideal plan for today you think um, tell the folks at home well so the uh tide should be uh, coming in right now in the next couple hours so try to hit all the lily pads and the shallows up top here in the grass try to go after some northern snakeheads is the plan of back here heck yeah that's what i'm talking about so i've never caught a northern snakehead i would like to check that box today but of course like because it's the potomac there could also be some giant tank largemouth up in the shallows like probably like pre-spawn right now yeah yeah it's still, okay still, water is 58 it's still pretty cold yeah 57 i'm reading right here all right so about like a quick five minute Paddle across the water, pedal across the water, and we're here at our first spot. I'm gonna clip off this voodoo shrimp because we're not in the salt anymore. Tomorrow I probably will be. I'll be trying to catch some stripers up in Jersey. And to start, I guess, we'll throw on this Zoom Fluke with an EWG offset worm hook. And we'll be just twitching and pausing it along the bank and see if we can get any bites. All right, here we go, first cast. Can we get a first cast snakehead? Can we get it done? No, we can't. This is how, this is how we're working the bait, just kind of twitching it along, pausing it. Twitching it, pausing it. Hmm. All right, so we're now about like two dozen casts in. No bites as of yet, but it looks really, really juicy here for any kind of species just to be hanging out along some of this vegetation. And actually, you know, I really would have rather been fishing the salt today, but uh, just because of the weather conditions later, and being that like a lot of uh, state park ramps are, and parks are closed, you know, our options were kind of limited. Hmm. Let's try a cast out by these pads here. Hmm. All right, well, we fished this little fluke for quite some time now, and I think it's about time to change up our tactics so we can put some fish in the kayak. So we're going to clip this off, and I'm thinking we'll try this little rattle trap. And, you know, we're going to try hopping across the other side of the river here. There's a lot of nice lay downs and stumps, and I think it might be a little bit deeper. So there'll be some potential that we can catch some large mouths at least to just break the ice.
All right, well, nothing on the rattle trap. And Jesse was saying that the last like couple nights we've had a couple cold fronts. So we were throwing the rattle trap along the bank, you know, in some shallower water. And uh, we're gonna do the same with this little square bill here. And if we don't get any bites after this, then we might have to start working the channel if we wanna get any bass. Cause those fish could have pushed off into some deeper water once uh, the air temperature cooled off a little bit. But let's tie this on and see if any fish want a little silent KBD square bill. On this very crankbait, actually, about five years ago, I got like third place in a bass tournament and won like, you know, a few hundred bucks, which is pretty cool. And it was about the same time of the year. So early spring when these fish are in pre-spawn mode, they're pushing up and they're looking for something nice to chomp on. Now the benefits of a little silent square bill is if there's any bass here, they just will react to it as soon as they feel it moving by their body. All right, well nothing on the square bill either. We fished it for about 30 minutes. So we're making the switch to a Kitek Easy Shiner on like a quarter ounce jig head. And we're gonna start fishing the deeper waters of the channel because this is where I'm marking quite a few fish on the screen and I'm curious to figure out what they are. There's something decent. Oh, hey, it's a striper. <laughs> Maybe that's what <laughs> I'm marking in the channels. Some stripers. Heck yeah. <laughs> the first striper of the season for me, actually. Heck yeah. So hopefully tomorrow in Jersey, we'll catch some of these, but about uh, four to five times the size. Boom. All right, so that's how I'm just rigging the little kite tech. And look, we got a bunch more nice marks right there down in like eight feet of water. But what we're gonna do is go out into like the middle of the channel more where it drops off to about like 10 or 12. Sink this little kite tech to the bottom. And then I'm gonna pop the drive in reverse and kind of back troll drift our way down current and just hop this little kite tech right along the bottom. I don't know what the heck this could be. Woo! What do you think? It's probably a carp. No freaking way. Is this a blue cat? Yeah, it looks like a blue cat, but he's got like a weird fat head. That is crazy. <laughs> Look at that. None of, the, none of the fish we were targeting today we've caught so far. Well, I did say in the beginning though, like we have a chance of catching anything. <laughs> Cause we're on the Potomac and like, just look at that mutant catfish. <laughs> so worth today's outing just for something crazy like that. <laughs> See how heavy he is. It's about six pounds. Pretty decent. Heck yeah. There he goes. <laughs> we found some kind of little bite here, so might as well keep at it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go back up current and do that same little jig and drift again with the Kitek. And uh, I'm not really sure exactly what kind of catfish that was. Jesse was thinking probably a blue cat, but uh, definitely was the first one of those species of catfish I've ever caught. So pretty cool. I've caught bullheads channels, and uh, I guess that's pretty much about it. And now that species of catfish. Oh, that fish thumped it. What the heck is this? Might be another catfish. Yeah. It's, an, it's a nice blue cat. Oh, this is crazy. Actually, no, I think it's a channel. 
Look at that tank of a cat right there. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Now I think this might be a blue cat. You guys are gonna have to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not like an expert catfish fisherman, but <laughs> this is pretty sweet. You know, I think that's what we're marking down deep along the bottom is yeah. catfish. And uh, you know, they put up a crazy fight. So I'll take that on artificials any day. All right, well, let's see if we can get back on these cats. Oh, just had another bite. I think we just went through a school of catfish on the bottom. There he is. Boom. Whew. This feels like another good one. Oh, yeah, baby. Whew. This is going to be a little bit bigger fish here. Oh, man. These cats can pull. Oh, yeah. Got him. Heck yeah. That looks to maybe be about a 10 pounder. Uh, nine pounds. Pretty sweet. So I'm stacked up like right above the bottom and they basically are just showing like a little like change in color that arches right above the yellow contour right there. What a nice ugly looking fish. <laughs> Look at that. So cool. Oh, <coughs> All right, well, pretty sweet. Uh, we're getting on this catfish bite. And to be honest, you know, if you told me this morning that I was gonna come out here and uh, catch a bunch of catfish, I would have been like, well, you know, I'm t I wanna ca try and catch snakeheads or at least some largemouth. But, uh, you know, it is the Potomac and sometimes you never know what you're gonna catch. And especially for me who doesn't get out here day in and day out to uh, you know figure out what the bass are doing or in this case snakehead uh, I'm pretty much just happy to catch whatever's willing to bite and because we're on this river that is loaded with a bunch of different varieties of species um, you know we have this opportunity to get on a nice little catfish bite with the Kitek so starting to rain out here a little bit uh, probably won't really affect the fishing there's some more cats right there but it will get us wet and won't be comfortable. And it really doesn't look like much on the bottom, but they're so dense and they're sitting so close that the sonar is having trouble, you know, separating the two. There's some more catfish there. Another one. That one barely hit it. There we go. Another weird looking one, just like our first one. What kind of catfish is this? You guys comment below. Sweet. Mm. All right, well, we're back at the ramp. Kayaks loaded up. It was very unfortunate that uh, it turned into kind of a crummier day than we expected or I was hoping for. It's raining on and off and, uh, you know, we couldn't get any snakeheads. Jesse lost one at the kayak and uh, I was really just surprised. We didn't even catch any largemouth bass. I did catch a striped bass <laughs> and, uh, you know, my plan to fish Jersey tomorrow in the kayak or surf might have to be scrapped because I just checked the weather and it doesn't really look good. It looks high winds and a lot of rain. So uh, that'll have to be determined, I guess, later tonight. But uh, thanks for taking me out. <laughs> oh yeah. <it's> a <laughs> An air pound because air of pound. Corona. <laughs> I don't think you have it, but you never know, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You could be asymptomatic, yeah. but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was cool. We got on a little catfish artificial bite, which 
<laughs> I've never been on before. That was interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to keep up to date, and like always, live to fish, fish to live.